Hello everyone! Welcome to a DSP video. We'll be doing some crazy stuff here in this video. I have some stuff I want to go over, but we're going to be focusing on a few things. First off, I want to bring up this Twitter just for now and then never go back to it, I guess. But, uh, you yeah, know, so after his Mario Odyssey stream, he just winds down on Twitter. He kind of posts whatever. So he talks about how he loves Mario Odyssey, uh, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll get into this in a bit as well. Um... And then, he brings up his pre-stream. By the way, folks, I had a pretty big announcement today that was that went totally under the radar. Scoot forward to about 13 minutes in this video. What could it be? What is the big revelation? Well, well guys, let's, let's get right into it. Now, in addition to that fact, all right, there's time another day reason off. why I'm taking this time off in December. In fact, there's been another reason why I've been taking off these periods of time um, since... Now, get this. Get, get this. Get this. He took July off, right? Oh, to recuperate his voice, to get his sleep schedule back on track. He was losing sleep. He was depressed about Leanna leaving him, according to him, and all this other stuff. All this other stuff that he's been telling us. And now he's going to tell us... There's another reason why he's been taking these time, you know, these times off. Get a load of this. Get a load of this. You know, the summer, at these set intervals, and the reason is because I've been taking that time to spend some time with my girlfriend, and boom, immediately a bomb has been dropped. Everyone's probably like, "What the fuck? What? You're doing what with who and how and what's what? Who the what? <laughs> I like that voice crack at the end, but. Who fucking cares? Like, his fans are are so simple-minded. And of course someone's gonna say, but Theo, you did a video, you're doing a video about this, you're talking about this, but... I'm talking about the fact that he is making it into a big deal. Like, okay, you got a girlfriend, yippee. Like, he acts as if, you know, he's 12 years old. Like, you know when you first get a girlfriend, when, like, the first time ever in your life, and you're just like... Guys, I, I got a girlfriend, dude. I got a girlfriend. I, oh, man, my life is my life is swimming. Now, 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 now. I want you to go back to every pre-stream after Leanna's breakup. Ask the King. The latest Ask the King. The latest one. DSP goes on about how he's depressed. Oh, Leanna leaving me makes me really sad and, and hurt. And this is the... I don't have any best friends because they could betray me. I have no best friends. Now he has a girlfriend. He's he he announced that he he is in a financial situation. He needs a lot of money as he as much as he can and all this stuff. And now he's saying that he has a girlfriend. And also, he had a tweet about this. He had a tweet again about this. Now let's continue. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen. I know many of you were surprised when I revealed to you what was going on with me back on Thanksgiving. All right. And you're like, how could Phil have kept that secret uh, for two and a half months and not talked about it? Oh, right? easy. He just downplayed the fuck out of it to the point where he made himself seem very miserable. Like, a lot of people are like, well, well, you see, he called himself a bachelor last week. This this got to be a... Like, he either had met this girl less than a week, and this lady decided to make her his girlfriend or whatever. But what I think, what I think, I have a few theories on this, and a lot of them are, are really dumb, very, very insane theories. But I'll go to the one, the most reasonable one I can think of right now, and we'll delve into the crazy ones later. He was probably trying to act depressed and all this stuff, because if he... Started saying, oh, I'm great. Life is great. I'm happy. I'm happy now. It, it would be kind of weird, right? Like, it, it wouldn't be um, a very honest uh, situation he, he'd be in or something. I don't know. I feel like that he that the way he keeps a secret is by acting very depressed. Like, that's how he keeps himself from from leaking the truth. That's That's what I think. I think he... He probably did meet this girl sometime in the summer, if, if this is true. I mean, you gotta only take his word for it. And he probably just downplayed the fuck out of it to the point where he seems very miserable. But who knows? The thing is, is that... 
he meet, he met this girl with less than a year, and he's already saying, "Oh, she's my girlfriend now." And and I also want to say this though to the girl that that's that's now dating Phil. How did she feel about how much shit Phil shat on Leanna for? Like, 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 just take a look back at a lot of the things that he said about Leanna in the past few months. Not one of it has been positive. The only time that he's ever said anything that's nice to her or, like, reasonable is when it's like, oh, people trolled her. People wanted to dox her wedding, her family wedding, and that's fucked up. But that's the only time you see Phil kind of talking to Leanna as if she's a person. Other than that, it's... Well, Leanna's a hoarder. She hoards stuff. Uh, you know, she's lost her shit in her room. Uh, I, 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 I'm left with all this shit. I'm not happy about it. And I have to also pay for her phone bill. And I said, "Okay, Leanna, enough. I'm not paying for your phone bill anymore." Does that really sound like, she, like, uh, that he really enjoyed this whole time away from her, or that the breakup was very mutual? No, it doesn't. So, I wonder how this new girlfriend feels about that. Because if she breaks up with him, or he breaks up with her, however it goes, he can easily shit on her. In a very slight, snide little way. So, I, I really don't understand how this girl sat through- because according to Phil, that she's a fan. She, she knows about DSP and all this other stuff. So, I don't understand how she felt about him shitting on his ex-girlfriend. So easily. I don't know. Well, I've had an even better kept secret. All right, I have. I've All had right, an even better kept secret. Uh, this year is that uh, basically since the summer, you know, I've been seeing someone on and off, and it's it's certainly not as frequently as I would like, uh, because as you guys know, you know my work schedule. I work my ass off. All right. And I'm here every single day, which means I get very little free time. The free time I get is... He has no free time, but he has enough time to date this girl. Because, also think about this. Also think about this. If he met her... Like, if they, if they had a first date during the first time he took time off. Let's assume that, okay? How did he meet her? Either see, and this is the other thing that 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 you know what a lot of people were making jokes about. If you go to the uh, this is how you don't play of Tekken Seven. Uh, there's a joke in there about him tweeting a girl, or or messaging a girl on his phone because he kept like because during the summer he kept he fucking kept just doing this. He kept, he kept doing this, he kept looking at his phone, and it got to the point where people started to make jokes about, oh, he's uh, texting a girlfriend, oh, he's texting this, a, a prostitute, or, you know, whatever, people kept making jokes about that. And that's why this announcement isn't that big of a deal to me, because he was on his phone for a while, now it could have been for business emails or whatever, but I think it was because he was, he was tied to a girl, because... Come on. DSP is like a 12-year-old in a 35-year-old man's body. So, when you're a young kid and, you, and you're talking to a girl that you have a crush on, that's going to be your number one priority. No matter what. If you're in school and, you know, you, you have a crush on a girl that's texting you, you're not going to fucking listen to that lecture. You're going to be on your phone the whole time, like, texting your girl, like, oh, hey, bae, what's up? Like, that kind of shit. So, I guarantee, I guarantee you're talking to her Throughout the entire time he's on his phone. He's not doing emails. He's not doing any of that shit. That's just like the side shit. He's talking to that girl. That's what he's been doing. And I had this other theory about who it was. I thought it was this one girl that wanted to slide into his DMs. But according to her, she's married. So maybe it's not her. Okay. But it is, it's something. It's something. It's, it was very obvious. But back at, back at the question at hand. Where did he find the time before the first time off to talk to her? He's very busy, right? So how did he find time to find to talk to her or find her? Hmm. In the middle of the night. Sorry, 
most girls don't have the middle of the night to do stuff. They're asleep. <laughs> you know what? what I mean? Girls can't be up at night. What? Is he just basing this off of Leanna? I, you know what? I think Leanna was his first girlfriend. I think that was his first girlfriend. I, I, don't, th I don't think he ever had a girlfriend before her. That's probably, that explains a lot to me. Um, so, you know, I've been dating someone, uh, for months. For actually, months. And seeing her on and off, uh, and I haven't had okay. any consistent time to really, you know. But he's very busy, but he's able to, to date her. Okay. To spend with her, and it's really these times off that I've been taking, these breaks, where I get to spend some significant time with her. All right. Um, and so this coming break that I have scheduled, I'm going to be doing all kinds of Christmas stuff, uh, with my girlfriend, which means putting up the Christmas tree, you know, decorating the house. Like, as you guys know, I've it's so weird how he's talking about her. It's so fucking weird because like, okay, I follow people on Twitter, uh, that might bring up their, their partner. Like for example, uh, Kanuko. Uh, one of the uh, artists that I follow, she's working on Indivisible, she worked on Skullgirls, she works at Lab Zero. Great artist, right? And, uh, you know, the only thing that she ever told us was, oh, I'm getting married to this guy. And, you know, obviously they, were, they, they had to be dating for a while, obviously, but, like, she wasn't like, okay, guys, I'm, I'm doing this with my boyfriend, and we're gonna go over here with my boyfriend. And, and her boyfriend was going on Twitter, she, he has a Twitter too, but he doesn't go on Twitter like, I'm doing this with my girlfriend. I'm going to do this with my girlfriend. The only time that they ever mentioned any, anything that they were doing as a couple was when they were taking their honeymoon, and that's it. Like, they're getting married, and they, they went on a honeymoon, and that's it. That's all, you know. They, I mean, there might be some in-jokes with, uh, with them being married, but that's pretty much it. It's not like, you know, they go on Twitter and talking like, oh, well, as if they're fucking items. And that's what it sounds like. And I said the same fucking shit with Leanna when he was with Leanna. He talked about Leanna as if she was like an object. Like, oh, guys, I have a girlfriend. I need to do this with my girlfriend. My girlfriend is here. I need to do this with my girlfriend. My girlfriend. My girlfriend. And, and it just, it doesn't even feel like that, that she was even friends. Every time that she was on camera with him, it was like a bot, like his mom walked in. So this new girlfriend that he has, it's basically gonna be his new mom. Like, Unless, unless this, this person is mentally, uh, immature. And that was the thing with Leanna as well. Uh, I, I still thought a fan of Leanna personally, but the thing is with Leanna, is that I'll give her some credit here. She went to, so, like, before she got a job, she was very fucking annoying. She, uh, you know, was pretty much a younger Phil, and a much more obnoxious Phil. That's why a lot of people didn't like her. Even DSP fans don't like her. Uh, until, like, you know, she started getting very, like, cultist fans who didn't care, whatever, but uh, after she got a job, her attitude and her presence started to change a lot, a lot. Uh, she started having friends over, uh, you, you know, and it started to feel, because the way that every time, like, before she had a job and she was on, on, on uh, screen with Phil, it was always like, Oh, yeah, to see you guys. Oh, yeah. Like, he would talk to her like she was a child. Like, she, he, he would treat her like a child. As soon as she got a job, he started talking to her a lot differently. And I picked up on this. I picked up on this because after that, it started to feel really fucking weird. It started to feel as if, like, she was his mom. That's what it felt like. How big is she would cook for him? Uh, you know, it, it just felt that way. It just did not feel like... He saw her as a girlfriend at all. It, he treated Leanna as a slave or as, or as a mom. And this girlfriend, it's either going to be his mom. He's either going to be in a relationship with his mom. And his girlfriend is probably okay with that. She's you know willing to spend time with this guy. Or that he is putting a front on her and kind of manipulating him to think that he's a good, he's a good person. And then uh, you know when she moves in, she's going to be... His child or his mom. It depends on where her where she is mentally. 
I, I, I know that sounds like an insult. I, I kind of, I kind of don't mean, mean it to, but, like, it's just, I can't see, I cannot see a, a girl, any girl for that matter, to, to be with this guy. I, I just can't see it. It's like that episode of South Park where Cartman and Haiti are dating and no one sees how what the fuck Haiti sees in Cartman. That's basically what's going on here. I don't see what this girl sees in him. Like she like he's either drugging her or that or she I don't know. I don't know. I can't like I don't know. I I just don't see it. Already announced I'm going to go out and I'm going to be looking for Christmas sweaters and Christmas liquor and all that kind of stuff. All right. Um so that's real. We're going to be doing all that stuff together. In fact, it was back in October that she was the person who I was going around with to all the Halloween stores, and she helped me pick out my Halloween costume, Ezio Auditori. So, I, in a lot of ways, I actually owe uh, the the great the great pick of what that costume was to her because she really helped me out. All right. But you said you picked it out. And now, okay. The one thing that I'm going to say up front, folks, because I know this is a bombshell announcement. Oh my God! Immediately. You know the people who are watching the stream just for negative reasons. They're running to the fucking internet. They're scouring all, everything. Phil must have shown her in something. Phil must have mentioned her in something. Phil must have done... No. I mean... Okay. Wh okay. That, that is pretty dumb. For many reasons. For many reasons. Okay, so a lot of people say that... Oh, Theo, you're stalking Phil. You're stalking him, Theo. You're, you're a stalker. If that's the case, then... You know, I, I don't really have to scour the internet because I already know that he didn't show her in anything. The only thing I have, the only thing I have to something is this one girl that wanted to slide into his DMs. That's it. That's all I got. Other than that, it's just him on the phone the whole time. That's that's pretty much it. <laughs> Literally 100%. Okay. <laughs> I have been leaving this as a secret on purpose. Because I knew that if I did announce it, you know, months and months ago, that it would, oh my god, there's a girlfriend, you know. The other thing is, you know, she is a person who very much does not want to have a public persona. Now, she knows who I am. She knows I'm a YouTuber. She knows all about me, you know. She doesn't want a public persona. But she just wants to date a guy that is that is a famous a famous Twitch streamer. That's like if I like if Melania Trump dated Trump, be, but she doesn't want to to be a public persona. Like it's like, but you're dating Donald Trump. I mean, she married him, but like it's like it. You know, it, it's it's very fucking weird. I mean, and that's not to say that, oh, how dare you date Phil, oh, whatever. But it's just, it, it's very fucking weird, right? And on top of that, he's talking about her on a pre-stream. Oh, I don't want to, she doesn't want to have a public persona, but let me just talk about her on, on a, uh, on a pre-stream for everyone to see. Okay. Oh. Um, it's not like this was just someone that I met out of nowhere and she had no idea who I was or anything like that. She's very well aware of who I am and all of that. But she does not want to be involved with all the online drama. She has no aspirations yeah, wants to... <laughs> to go out and... She has no aspirations. That That's a that's a pretty, like... I don't know. I, I, kind of find, I, I think that's kind of shitty to say because... I I, I mean, I, he's probably saying it kind of... She doesn't have, she doesn't have any... Uh, like aspirations to to like be famous on on the internet. She probably has aspirations otherwise in in other directions. So that's fine, that's fine. But it's kind of a weird thing to bring up. Like again, why bring up all this information about her? Like oh, I'm not gonna tell you about her name or or, or whatever. But let me just tell you that she has no aspirations to be internet famous. So I I don't have to compete with her. Uh, you know all this weird stuff. It's like why bring it up then? make you know a youtube or channel is, or a twitch like, stream or anything these, these are very specific details like okay he's not giving us her, her name or twitter account or whatever she's not he's not giving us this but these are very specific details that's like if i like well i have this girlfriend i can't tell you the name but uh you know 
she doesn't want to have a YouTube channel. She wants to work behind a desk the whole time. She wants to be in a building. Uh, she wants to be able to drive to the job that she wants. And she wants to be a CEO of a company. Like, these are very specific details. Like... <sighs> Anything like that. She doesn't want to have uh, a public persona. She very much wants to have her own life outside of being a part of mine. All right? And that's why... I have not mentioned anything up to this. But she she could she could have done that regardless. Like this how do they think? Okay. If they give us a name, does that mean that all oh, suddenly she's going to be famous? No, probably like okay, some haters might follow the account. Some uh fans might follow her account and whatever. Okay, but like she could easily just not address them. Or she could just be a whatever about it. I mean, again, she's dating DSP. Like, it's not that big of a fucking deal, but at the same time, it's DSP. Like, like this guy has a presence on the internet. Wait, like, if you don't see him for the person he is, like, his personality is on the fucking internet. I, 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 just, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I don't see what's there to like. He talks to people like that. He, he treats people like shit. He treats his fans like shit. He begs for money every day. What does this person see in him? He has been nervous about the bills even before the taxes. And he brings her up when he... We'll get into that a little bit. We'll get into that a little bit more because he brings some... He says something else that's kind of fucking weird. Point, because I literally didn't want any idiot to try to go out there. I mean, ju just think about, folks. I mean, let's be honest here. Think about my last relationship with Leanna, right? My ex. And how, you know, she did very much have a public persona. Everything she did, she wanted to do her own YouTube channel. She had her own business online and everything. And just think, even though she never really ex exposed a lot of private stuff about her life, how much about her family and everything was thrown on the internet just because people could find out, right? I mean, we were at the point what? where my ex's uh, brother was getting married and I very, really quickly mentioned it in a, in a video or a vlog earlier on in the year. Oh my god, again I with this. I might be attending the wedding later in the year. And then I never mentioned it again, alright, because of, you know, reasons. The fact that we were afraid that if we had gone, because that was the year that we had gotten swatted, okay? okay? We were worried that if we went to this friggin' wedding that some asshole would try to swat it. Or they would otherwise do something to prank it and ruin this wedding, okay? And that's why we didn't go, and I never mentioned it, alright? I never mentioned it at all. Again, yeah, look what happened. People not only found out the date, the time- You told us the date. You told us the date. Like, how is- th How is knowing Liana's existence and her name led to people finding out about her brother's wedding? Like, he's so fucking dumb to, th to assume that, to make- to-, to Make this connection. It makes no fucking sense. It make it, it, there's it's no sense. It makes no sense how he brought that up. Because think about it. Think about it. Though we didn't, no one knew about the wedding until DSP talked about it in a video where he said, "Well, I might bring my PlayStation Four or Xbox One, whatever console," he said, uh, "and play uh, Fallout Four in the hotel room while we're at the brother's wedding." And this and that. He said that in a fucking video. He said it was that fucking week. And then people just happened to find the date because, you know, they posted a RSVP, which anyone could get a hold of. But the thing is, is that no one really fucking cared. The only reason why people cared is because DSP made them care. If Again, if DSP didn't say anything about the wet, like, he just had to pick and choose what information to give out. He could give out her, this new girlfriend's name, like, or at least the, just the first name, and that's fine. People who, who watch my videos, they only know my first name. You only know my first name is Theo. Theodore. You might, you know my middle name, and that's it. That's all you know of me. You don't know my last name, you don't know uh, my home address. You might know the state I'm in, which is fine, because it's a fucking state. I mean, no one's gonna come to my state and, you know, find me. You know? Um... You know, I'm, I, it's like he's not very smart. He's he's either like 
I gotta keep all my information close and hoard it all together. I cannot give you her name because if I give your name, you're gonna find her identity and you're gonna, you know, do malicious shit with her first name. Her first name could be fucking Sarah for all we know. And Sarah's a very generic name. Find the location of the fucking wedding. They publicly posted it on the internet. We talked about say, this. Oh, go ahead and troll it. And but whatever. On top of all that, then they spun it to say that I forcibly forced my ex forcibly to not forced. attend this wedding so I could stay home and play Fallout 4 and make money. All of that was literally fabricated, right? So just think. No. Based off a tiny no, bit. No one said that. No one really said that. But at the same time, people asked, why can't Leanna just go? Like, because if they both went, Okay, fair enough, because DSP is there, and people want to troll DSP. Okay, fair enough. Take DSP out of the situation. Have Leanna go. Act as if Leanna didn't didn't go, and then, you know, when she comes back, you'll be like, well, Leanna went to the uh, wedding, and then people are going to be like, wow, I can't troll her now because she already went to the fucking wedding. Crazy, right? That's a crazy idea. A little real-world knowledge, right? What these fucking sicko people who fuck with me have done. In the past. So okay. learning from that past. Alright. Okay. Learning from that past. I very much. Very much. Learned. That this is something that I should keep to myself. Alright. However. You know. Being that. Some things have already come to light publicly. Alright. Uh, the fact that you guys now know okay. about my financial situation with this tax situation. Okay. Oh and by the way. By the way. He doesn't want her to be uh. Uh, oh, what's, what's, what was I thinking of? He doesn't want her to be public knowledge. He doesn't want, you know, her to have a public persona, but he just, you know, talked about on Twitter, Oh, I had a big announcement! So it went totally under the radar, listen to me talk about my girlfriend, dude! But, but obviously, he, he you know, he doesn't want to, sh you know, like, this is the thing I'm talking about. This is... This is what I'm talking about when when I bring when I say that this this is what annoys me about DSP. This is really what annoys me about him. If he doesn't want people to uh, you know know about things, that's fine. Like if he didn't want us to know about the tax situation until he told us or whatever, that's fine. He should not mention anything, or at least not brag about it. Like th that is just annoying. It's obnoxious. It's it's fucking obnoxious. Because it's it's like if the whole time I start leading you around the nose, but like something's going on in my life. I can't tell you, but something's going on, dude. I can't tell you, but something's going on behind you know, behind the scenes. I can't talk about it, but something's going on. Something's going on, dude. It's it's something alright. And it's so fucking annoying. Like why not just fucking shut the fuck up about it and move on with our and and move on? Why do we have to know about you knowing something that's going on behind the scenes? Like, it's, it's no information. Who fucking cares about no, no information? Get the fuck out of here. Let's continue. Um, because I revealed it on Thursday, a lot of questions have arisen. You know, one of the questions is, well, why is Phil taking this time oh. off in December if he knows that he needs to make it as this. possible? And, you know, the answer here, quite frankly, is I already... Had scheduled this time to be with my girlfriend and do this holiday theme. He already made he already uh, you know planned this day out, right? But every pre-stream before, you know, a few weeks ago, he's like, "Well, I'm thinking about taking these days off in December around this time because there's no games coming out, so that's good. Uh, you know, there's nothing going on. That's fine. That's that's fine, man. Uh, I could take days off." You know, these bi-monthly, uh, you know, time off has been really working out. So, uh, I think I'm gonna, it's going to be a thing I'm going to be doing moving forward. But now that he announces tax thing... See, this is why I think there's probably a group of people that think that this girl does not exist. He probably wants to keep this days off, these days off, but he can't justify it because of, of tax, of the tax thing. So, he's trying to say, I have a girlfriend. See, you can't question me now because I have a girlfriend, and that's and that's what people are going to be basing this, that theory off of is that these reason it, this reasons, these reasons, and all this kind of stuff kind of don't add up. 
And the other thing is if if this girl's interested in Phil and, and she knows that he's in financial trouble, don't you think she'd understand if he didn't take the time off? Like he oh, oh I have to pay the, uh, you know, these taxes off. I have I have to pay these taxes off, uh girl, so I'm going to uh you know I won't be able to take the time off, but you know, we could do something, you know, another day or something. Or maybe, you know, I'll, I won't do a second stream. I'll just do the first stream. You know, meet me third, meet in the middle. But uh, no, no, she, he has to take the whole day, all, all those days off. Obviously. Okay. Stuff because there's no other opportunity to do it. You know, as you know, guys, as we no, get closer. To no Christmas. opportunity to do it. Okay. Christmas and everything. Everyone gets super busy. I'll be super busy, and incidentally, she's gonna be super busy. So. You know, with what, what we decided is let's let's oh, you know, oh, with have our a family earlier on in the month when both of us would have time to do it, and I actually <laughs> scheduled it for this one week when okay. there's no new releases, so it's perfect. Okay, um, okay. So that's number one. But the other thing, folks, is that the question everyone's on everyone's mind: Well, why does Phil still need this big house? Why does Phil need to stay in this house in Washington? That's beyond just what he needs. You know, as a person, and he's just standing on pride that he doesn't want to lose this house. Another that he reason why I made up this girl. No, the bottom line is, folks. Another that, reason. Know, I have a girlfriend who I've been dating for months, and we're both, you know, mature adults in the point that we have our own lives. But we're both mature adults. Who who talks like that? We've been talking about our future together, and we've been talking about, gee, what would we like to do? Maybe eventually, if things keep going well, we'd like to move in together. Uh, okay, I'm okay, okay, look, 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 look. I might not be, you know, fucking relationship expert, you know, number one. I, I'm not the go-to guy for relationship advice, but I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be talking about moving in together Within less than a year of, of dating. Usually, usually, you might bring that up. You know, the earliest to me, for me at least, would be two years the earliest. Like, so he, he, he was about to, to marry, or he got engaged with Leanna. Leanna was his fiance. That fell, that fell through. They broke up. And immediately in the summer, he starts dating this girl. And so the instant girlfriend. And now they're talking about moving in together. See, this is what, what I mean, that he acts like a 12-year-old. It's like this is his first time going through a girlfriend. And the other thing that, that is also important to know is that this is probably a rebound girl. This is probably, you know... You know when you when when you go through a breakup and you're very vulnerable as a person, you're very you know whatever. Corey Demi was he he could he lost sleep over this breakup, and now he meets this girl. These kind of relationships that form af right after a breakup don't aren't the aren't good relationships. They don't last, uh, and when, or when they or if they do, they usually kind of go south. But who knows? Who knows? Again, I I don't see what she sees in him unless she's she's you know a child. Because again, who talks about moving in together less than a year of dating? Less than a year. They're already girlfriend and boyfriend, and they're already talking about moving in together. That's a that's a little soon. You know, that, that's a that's a little a little crazy right there, but whatever. Well, I got the perfect house for it. The problem is, I don't know if I can keep the house because that house is perfect for a family of three to four people. Even for two people, that house is too big. Even for two, he he should move out of that house and move into a more affordable place that can that can room two people because. He's 35 years old. He can't get kids. I mean, the only kids he, like, it's, it's just, he's not in a position to have kids. This is not feasible. And I think, I, I remember in, uh, in high school, I did, a, <laughs> I did a project on this. 
And I read that when you when uh, people re reach the age of thirty, like in the thirties to forties, uh, if they start to have kids, the kids have a uh, have a chance, a higher chance of getting Down syndrome. Now that might change. That might change over the study, like over studies, and you know that might be that might not be true from the last time that I looked into it. But I remember reading that you know the older you are, and, and when you have kids at that age, your kids can develop Down syndrome. I I don't think Phil should uh, should get kids, TBH. But whatever. Is this bullshit with the taxes going on? And it fucking sucks because, um, but get this. Really honestly, you know, back in the summer before the tax issue arose, and we started dating, you know, things were going great, and we were like, wow, this is amazing. If this keeps going this well, maybe we can move in together, and you know, we can do all this stuff. Already then, talking about moving boom, in. Boom! All of a sudden. Okay. You know, in September, October, the tax issue hits, and now it's like, now the future's completely fucking uncertain. Hold you know, on. in September, October, okay. the tax issue I... hits, and now it's like, now You're the right. future's completely fucking uncertain. Right? There is something else. It's there garbage. It sucks. It fucking sucks. Right? And already I see people saying silly stuff in the stream chat. Why does it she just move in and start hoping to pay the bill? Guys, I mean... I... Isn't that a great community? She... She's a person. She's a person. This girl, she's a person. I, I yeah, I said some some things about her, like oh well, you know, she, I don't see what she sees in him, whatever. But her his chat immediately, immediately went to the. She could start paying the bills. Phil, get her, get her to come to your house so she can pay, pay the bills. What 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 a great community! And, and he's like, well, well, guys, I might not have the house, you know, I can't have her moving. That's that's a, a thing to think about. Usually, usually when people talk about moving in together, it's usually you know because they really like each other and they're like oh you know, you know it'd be more convenient for us to get a, to uh, you know see each other and this and that. Here it's she could pay the bills. I never thought about that before. I never thought of looking at another person as a walking piggy bank, dude. Amazing. This is what she has to look forward to. This is what this girl has to look forward to when she moves in. Paying the bills. Being with with her boyfriend is just a, a, a uh, is just a, you know, the icing on top. The meat of the whole thing is to pay bills. Isn't that a great reason to move in? Such a great reason. Not be able to have this house, all right, in 2018. <laughs> I'm not going to have someone move all their shit in and then have to move back out. <laughs> you know? But it's so all yes, Jim. That's the situation room, I'm in dude. right now is I really have to fight as hard as I can for this house and keep it not only for myself, all right, but for the potential future of, you know, a, a relationship that I've had now. Uh, using Using this girl to get more money from his fans. This girl did not want a public persona, but she's okay with being used to get more money from random strangers. Wh what kind of person is she? is she? What? What? I I have a feeling maybe maybe she is secretly like Phil's sister that they don't know. Like maybe you know his, his parents could afford to have. Uh, th uh, this younger sister, uh, or this younger daughter that they had, and they're like, well, we gotta put her up for adoption, but we shouldn't tell Phil, because he might get jealous or whatever, so they put her up for adoption in secret, you know, behind his back, he doesn't know about it, they kept it, they kept her a secret, and then, you know, now, he's, he, he find they meet, and they don't know that they're related, and it's like, something, because I refuse to believe a, a person that doesn't want a public persona would be okay with being used as a tool to get more money from random people. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe that. You know, since the summer, it's been going really well, and I want it to keep going well. But if I gotta move, right, if I have to sell this house and either get another place, or if I have to move, God forbid, I have to move back to Connecticut, um, that could be the end of it. See what I mean? So there's See even I mean? more at stake right now in regards to keeping this house than you guys have really known. Jeez, I jeez. It's a weird coincidence. Thursday, he brings up about 
the taxes and how he's a lonely bachelor and he's a he's single. That turkey dinner was a bachelor's meal, and which is kind of weird because bachelor and uh, uh, whatever. He talks about that. He says how he's single, how he's depressed, he lost sleep about how you know he handles the breakup with Leanna, and then Monday comes. I have a girlfriend, guys. Now I also want to ask you guys this. Imagine if you're his new girlfriend. You're you're you're, you're his new girlfriend. Imagine. Imagine. And you're watching his videos and you watch his pre-streams and he is saying, Dude, I I lost sleep over Leanna, man. Like, we were about to be Married. It was five years of my life I gave to Leanna, and and, and it, it it fell through. Fell through. How do you think she? How do you think the girlfriend felt? I don't know. See, this is this is why I don't really necessarily believe that this girlfriend is real or that he's lying. He's lying about something. There's something in the story that doesn't add up. It's either the girl when they met, etc. I, I really don't know where's the lie, but there's a lie somewhere here to to uh, to decipher. You might be asking, well, why is Phil revealing this now? Um, well, ever since I oh, get, revealed on Thursday, look at this, look at this, what's going on with this house way. and everything, and the fact that the taxes are an issue and everything. Um, obviously, there's been all these questions about why do I need the house and stuff like that. But in addition, you know, I've been talking with her every day, and she's like, you know, I feel kind of isolated, even though, even though she, like I said, she does not want a public persona. She what sense does this make? I don't want to have a public presence, a public persona, but I think you should tell people that I exist and use that to get money. See, see, this is. This is why I think this is a scam. I think this girl doesn't exist. I think that he's using this to get money, and then come January or February when he's out of this tax situation, he's going to suddenly say, Folks, got some bad. I got some good news and I got some bad news. I'm going to say the good news first is that, guys, we're out of the, out, we're out of the financial trouble. Uh, the, the, you know, the tax situation isn't as bad. I'm fine. I'm fine, guys. I get to keep the house. Everything is great. But folks, I got some bad news. My girlfriend that, that I talked about earlier, the la late last year, broke up with me. Now, it was mutual. Uh, you know, it, we just drifted apart. Uh, you know, she had other things to do, she, had, you know, she didn't like the attention she was getting, uh, you know, so, and, and she was getting nervous that I was pressuring her into a relationship, so she broke up with me, so that's so, so, you know, uh, but overall, you know, I'm just glad that I'm out of the tax situation. Watch him say something like that, or he'll find some bullshit reason to not reveal her at all. He's gonna find something. He's gonna find something, but we'll see. We'll see. We we will see. She does not want that. She at least feels that. Give me know money. That if you guys knew that she existed, it would make more sense in the perspective, the big picture perspective, right? Because now your kind of guys are finally kind of like the big already, already not not even a year into the relationship, and she he's already using her to make money. He's already treating her like an animal. Like, kind of an object. He, he, he pretty much objectified this girl within less than a year. And what I mean by that, I'm not saying that she, he's just saying, oh, she's a fucking sex object, dude. I'm not saying that. He's objectifying her in the sense that she's he's using her as, as a tool to get money from his fans. He, hi, he hyped the pre-stream because he talked about his girlfriend. He made a tweet. To, to be like, oh, guys, they need a big announcement. He used that as, as fucking clickbait. And a lot of people got on Phil's ass for when he used Leanna's health to get money. And he's already using this new girlfriend to get money. He cannot. He, he can. Uh, oh, my God. I just heard a yell. Oops. He's, he's already 
He, he cannot just treat this girl like a person. He's already using it as a method to make more fucking money. Dude, that's like if I start saying, Guys, go to my Patreon. Uh, give me money. I have a rabbit now, guys. And, and my rabbit, she's seven years old, okay? And she needs more carrots. And you know what, dude? I didn't think about taking her to the vet to get her nails cut, but she needs her nails cut, dude, okay? Uh, I have a fucking rabbit, dude, okay? That'd be fucking shitty, you know? Like, I, I, I should handle all this shit on my own. I should not be using all these fucking people or animals or whatever to make money. It's so sleazy that he's using this girl to make money. To make money. Get the fuck out of here. What girl's okay with this? Dude, dude, I want you to ask your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever and ask them, hey, is it okay if I use you to make money? And see see their reaction. I guarantee it won't be, yeah, do it. Picture for the first time ever. And now it's kind of, the pieces are kind of falling into place. You oh know what I mean? God. It makes sense now. Um, yeah, yeah. Before it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense before that you that you'd be paying because you want to support Phil and you want to help Phil out of the out of this tough time. No, no, that didn't make any fucking sense. Now that he has a girlfriend, now it makes sense. Dude, he just doesn't want to leave the house. He doesn't want to leave that fucking house, and he made an excuse to not leave it. I guarantee that's what this is. He he wants to make this ultimate excuse. As to why he cannot leave that fucking house. And it's a dumb one. You know what? It's either going to be that the, that she broke up. Or that, guys, I didn't have a girlfriend. I was saying that if I had a girlfriend, if I had a relationship, that's what I meant. I meant to say I misspoke. And I meant to say that if I had a girlfriend, I want a house so that she can already know that she has a place to move into if the relationship ever went further, dude. I did not mean to say that I had a girlfriend. It was just... It, it, I misspoke. Like the fucking Halloween goal. <laughs> So now I go, like, ah, okay, I guess. Ah. So now he needs to keep the house because he's dating this girl he's been seeing. And obviously if he has to move, then he can't see the girl anymore. And also if he keeps the house, then maybe eventually, you know. Like oh my god, this sounds like a fucking episode of like Boy Meets World or something. Today on Boy Meets World, Corey has to, has, is having trouble finan with his financial situation. And he wants Topanga to move in with him, but he has trouble... You know, keeping the house. How will Corey Matthews be able to keep the house so that Topanga can move in? Find out in next week's episode of Boy Meets World. <laughs> they could be in, move, living in together, and then they could, you know, both pay for the house. See, it makes sense. Now. See, and that's see, why it she makes sense. Wanted me to talk about it today, dude. Dude, it's like he he thought this over, like it was against like a, a battle plan, and he's like, see, it makes sense. And then he's like going through this plan of, of this excuse and, and he's seeing that stream chat's buying it. It's like, see, it makes sense. It makes sense. Because it now makes, it makes sense now. And that's why she kind of wanted me to talk about it today. She wanted me to talk about this so that you guys could give me money to keep the house. What girl... What girl on the planet Earth wants to be used as a fucking method to make money? What? Not even a girl, a person. What person would want that? Dude, if I had a girlfriend and I, and I you know, was doing a stream, the last thing I would think of is using her to get money. Because that's fucking dumb. And shitty. He's already using her to make fucking money. Because he kind of did that before. Because I remember. I remember. I don't know if you guys remember this. But I remember that when uh, Leanna had to get a job. To pay the bills. He fucking said. 
Oh, see what the drugs are doing? Now my girlfriend has to take the financial responsibility in getting a job because of the fucking copyright strikes. It's fucking bullshit. And that's, and he kept saying that. Oh, I want to have a life with me and my girlfriend and live in this house together. I want to do this and this and this. I have a new girlfriend and she wants me to tell you guys that I want, that, that she wants to keep the house. I'm sorry, but... If she was truly interested in Phil, truly interested in, in him, she would not care where he is, and she'd probably make do, or, like, because also think about this. They'd share a fucking bed. And... Well, one bedroom apartment could work too, because they'd share a fucking bed. Because it now makes everything kind of formulate into a... It makes sense. And, let's face it, uh, she's kind of been a secret. And, you know, it kind of makes her feel a little bad. Because Why? When you're kept secret... Why would she feel bad if she doesn't want a public persona? Okay. Right? right? It kind of means, like, oh, she's the dirty little secret, you know? She's not. In order for... First off, first off, DSP is not big enough or important enough to, to have a dirty little secret mistress. Uh, that's first off. You know, usually, the dirty little secret is always thought, you know, it's for people who are, like, very, you know, powerful and influential in their, in their work. Whatever. Dirty little secret usually implies that, uh, you know, she, he was dating this girl while being with Leanna. Like she was the side bitch on the on the side of the main bitch. Like like she was he this he was the mistress that you know was dirty little secret. That's what that implies. Not telling people or that like you know oh she's a dirty little secret from his family. It, you know it's like you know it's like a lot of people keep their partners a secret from their family because you know their family may not approve so. She's a dirty little secret, but he, his fans would approve of anything. He could come on stream and say, I have this, my phone is my girlfriend. And they'd be like, congratulations, Phil. Here's 100,000 bits. Oh my God, Phil, amazing. Standing ovation for you, Phil. I'm so happy for you. That's how dumb his fans are. His fans are not the brightest. Nick is the only brightest one, but he's dumb in the sense that he's doing work for Phil for free. But at the same time, we didn't want to reveal anything until we were ready. So, so there you go. Now, by the way, no, you're not. Oh, oh, so she was ready when you were in mega begging mode. Well, I, I think Phil, since you know you have this big tax bill coming, and you know you already sound pathetic as it is, I think it's time for you to sound even more pathetic and use me as an excuse to get more money. This girl. It, Either, either Phil's putting words in her mouth, which I wouldn't be surprised because Phil tends to do that to a lot of people, or, I don't know, or, or she's like a, a fucking sleazy ass person. I don't know. I don't know. You're getting no information about her whatsoever. Zero. Just what I've told you right now is all you're getting until maybe at some time in the future things change and maybe we're in a better position okay all right so you basically know. basically the fundraiser the fund the fundraiser the fundraiser go uh event in january is going to be so that he could reveal his girlfriend so he put his girlfriend behind a paywall a paywall he put a human being a person behind a paywall A paywall. Oh, if you want to see my girlfriend, you know, you gotta see if, we're, uh, you know, how it is after the after the fa after the bills and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe, just maybe. And it's a maybe too. Um, on top of that, so so his his fucking slaves could give him money in hopes to see this girl, so they could be like, wow, cool, she's cool, Phil. They could give him a lot of money, and then for him to just be like, ah, we decide not to. And that, to me, would be a huge cop-out. 
Already, already, because the fact it, the fact of the matter is that he is gonna brag about this mystery girl forever. He's gonna be like, Ugh, I'm gonna do this with my girlfriend. I'm gonna do that with my girlfriend, but you know it's a mystery. Shh, I have a girlfriend. Guys, check the pre-stream. Uh, there, I thought I would make a huge announcement. But it's a secret. I can't tell you, dude, okay? But I might tell you when I get money. When I get enough money, dude, okay? Oh, I get enough money all uh, together. Well, I don't want to tell you, but I don't want to reveal her just yet, okay? Like, fuck off. Just, just don't talk about shit like this. It's the same thing with the medical stuff. Like, now, he brings up a random illness and has a random girlfriend. I really think he might he, he he might have lost it. He might be hallucinating a girlfriend now. Dude, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. This is fucking weird. This is getting fucking out there. Just maybe if we can get out of this situation with the house, if I can pay all these stuff, somehow find a way to pay all these taxes. A pay oh. Then in 2018, yeah, things could be potentially much better. <sighs> And maybe if she moves table. in with me, and we start a life together, all right, um, then, then, okay, if she's here living with me, and obviously, you know, you're going to see me during work hours or whatever, but of course, maybe there'll be some vlogging and stuff that I start doing if she's Yeah, dude, me. she could be the tripod. She'll be a tripod now, a human tripod. You always wanted a tripod for DC tries it. Now you got one, a human being. This poor girl, she's just gonna be a slave to him. She's gonna be like, it's gonna start off as a child slave or just a slave, and then she's gonna become her his mom. I guarantee that's what it's gonna become. It's gonna start getting to the point where after a few years of being, of getting to know each other, it's gonna start being like, oh, uh, you're, you're distracting me. I play video games. Oh my god, can you leave? It's gonna happen. It's, go it's gonna fucking happen. I mean, like DSP tries it and stuff, where she's gonna be in it. Then it makes sense that you know, yes, there may be more information revealed in a later date. But for now, none of that will be revealed. Nothing. People are asking me, what is uh, what is her ethnicity? She's Martian. I tell you, we'll have the government in here trying to. All right, she's not Martian. All right. Okay. But that's the deal. Well, and I've kept this under wraps since the summer, so I think I've done a pretty damn good job. Yeah, fact, okay. Like I said, I really had no intention of telling you guys at all about her. Until, until, until I had financial benefit, dude. What a great boyfriend. I wish I, I, wish I had a girlfriend that, that saw me as a fucking tool to make money. What a great fucking person. This girl really, really bagged a, a winner, guys. You know... And I hate to say it, I really hate to say this, and this is going to sound extremely shitty, but, you know, well, you know, I'm not going to say it, because that's that shit, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fucking say it, but I'm going to say, I'll say this though, uh, she's probably going to leave him, uh, within five years, just saying. Until... I started, you know, I revealed my whole tax situation on Thursday. Like, you know, imagine how the first date went. Oh, I'm I'm a uh, YouTuber. I'm a Twitch streamer. I don't make a lot of money anymore. I have to I have to constantly uh, nag my viewers to give me bits and and tips every stream in order for me to make a living. I'm nervous about paying the bills every two months or so. Uh, I have a I have a big tax bill coming, uh, and I could lose the house. Isn't that exciting? Uh, are you wet yet? Giving. And then, you know, all the stuff that's happened since then, and now she's like, well, it probably makes more sense to do it. So there you go. Yeah, it makes more sense. It makes more sense to use her as a, as a fucking financial tool. Oh, okay, what a great guy. There you go, folks. That is the truth about everything that's been going on. Now you've got the bigger picture. Now I've got even more of an incentive. Now you know I have even more of an incentive, even more of a desire. Yeah. To His girlfriend is, is, the, is your incentive now. His incentive is your incentive. As always, whatever... Uh, his financial burden is your financial burden. His his sex life is your sex life. 
whole tax situation, save the house, you know, and stay where what, I am. How pathetic. So that what a pathetic I life you live. I have a, a much better future for myself. Versus moving back to Connecticut, being a solo bachelor in a piece of shit condo, terrible weather. You know what I mean? Yeah, because there's no <laughs> girls in Connecticut. There you go. Snake. Eight 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 eight
Um, <laughs> summertime. Summertime. And that I revealed to everyone on pre-stream earlier that the times off that I've been taking, like July oh and God. October, actually were times when I spent a lot of time with her. Because normally I'm so busy with work, I don't you know have what? a lot of time to spend with her at all, you know? Um, at all, I dude. I really, really see her outside of those times that I have set aside to spend time with her. And some people were flabbergasted. Some people Still were happy. -stream. Some people hilariously are accusing me of lying and saying that this girl... Hold on. Let's hear what he has to say in today's pre-stream. All right, everyone. So my pre-stream is over. I guess what I have to do... Do I have to get... I guess I have to get my PS4 linked to the same wireless modem or router downstairs that... Uh, my cell phone is connected to what what's going on in which case let's see here this is really stupid what the fuck cuss all right i gotta do what the fuck is he okay we, we, we will we will go back into that later <laughs> girl does not exist it's hilarious because even my ex my ex-girlfriend when i first started having her in my videos and stuff People said she wasn't my girlfriend, that I was lying. <laughs> That's how these people are, all right? Okay. So, well, uh, well, you know, at least with Leanna, you actually showed her and you, and you stated her name. So, you know, there's that. And the people saying that, oh, you're, that he's lying is probably just memeing you. And then this is just like, well, you're not giving us any meaningful information other than she's a girl and she's her girlfriend. And, she, and you already want to move in with her, despite you know... Despite you knowing her for, like, less than a year. Okay. Yeah. Um, She very much exists. My girlfriend. Okay. My girlfriend. But I'm not going to give you any details whatsoever about her. Because she doesn't want any details getting out. No I details, lesson From guys. my last relationship. Where once the details got out, people... She doesn't, she doesn't want any details to come out. But she wants you to know that she exists. So you guys can give him money about for her. This girl has some... Great, I some great ideas. Let's hear that again. I gotta hear that again. My girlfriend, my existing girlfriend, but I'm not gonna give you any details whatsoever about her because she doesn't want any details getting out. Because I learned my lesson from my. Egg, wait, wait. So she doesn't want any de information to come out because he, he learned his lesson about giving information about his ex girlfriend, but then wants to proceed by using her to as a reason to keep the house and to get money. And then he also said he might give us more information about her when the tax situation clears. Something, something is a lie here. Now, now I think another reasonable lie, another reasonable theory that that's not as crazy because my one of my theories was that she is made up. She's completely fake. He's using her. He's using this fake girlfriend to get more money from his fans to be like, oh, guys, I have a girlfriend, give me money. And then when he gets the money, he's going to be like, oh, she broke up with me or I never said I had a girlfriend. People, people are, are uh, spending my words to say something else or whatever, or some other dumb excuse like that. Because I could see him doing that. Uh, the other thing that I was also thinking last night, which is kind of another far-fetched theory, because this is, these are crazy lies to begin with, is... Uh, that the tax situation is a lie. Like, he's saying this so that he get more money to impress this girl or to kind of pay her way to, to spend time with him or something. I mean, the tax thing I, I don't necessarily believe is fake. I, 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 I did think about that for a while, but I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to sit there and say that it is just yet. Uh, until, unless, unless he says in February, or January that I'm fine 100%, everything's great, uh, I, I keep the house or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, that has, I don't know. But the reasonable thing is she might not be his girlfriend. She might be a girl that's interested in him because you don't really consider a girl that you're dating a girlfriend just yet. You're just like, oh, this is just a, you know, a girl that I'm interested in and, you know, we're dating and, you know, we're not girlfriend yet or whatever. And then, you know, once, you know, you get, you know, more involved, then she's a girlfriend. And I could take, you know, and you, know, you can't make that decision within a year. You don't do it within less than a year. I mean, that's just insane. 
I mean, he's already talking about moving in together with her, which is, you know, insane as it is. My last relationship, where once the details got out, people used it to constantly harass her, to attack her, to say nasty- What did I do to her, Phil? Well, guys, last time I talked to Liana, I said Samurai Champloo was a good anime, and it was one of my favorite animes. That's it, that's all I told her, that's my only interaction with her, and she blocked me. She responded to me, she said like, oh, okay, we'll check it out, and then... As soon- and then the next day I was blocked. I mean, okay. He things about her <laughs> to attack her family and family members. They swatted her goddamn dad. I'm not going to put up Prove with that, that shit, gang. So, sorry, I guys, know. but I can't give you any further details. What I can tell you I know is that's upcoming true, time up, I will be spending with my girlfriend holiday-themed stuff, like putting up the Christmas tree, decorating the house. We'll be out looking for shitty Christmas sweaters for my upcoming mm. holiday marathon. We'll be looking for all kinds of fun stuff together. Fun, fun, It's going to be a good time. Good time. And uh, there you have it. All right. You want more information? Go check it out the pre-stream from earlier. All right. Yeah. And by the way, I, I will say this as we begin. Neener, neener, neener to all the people out there who wanted to be negative Nancy's and say Phil's just going to drop Super Mario Odyssey because he's not making any money on it on YouTube. And Phil's only about the money. I just played this game for a friggin' month over a hundred parts. Some 20... Get this, get this. This is uh, one of the things I was I was gonna bring up in the uh, tweets. But let's listen to five this. to thirty hours of gameplay when I could have been doing other stuff that would have made me money on YouTube, because this is one of the best games, if not the best game of twenty seven. But he has said many times in the past during the fucking playthrough. Oh, in order for me to keep playing Mario Odyssey, you gotta give me money to make up for Nintendo stealing my revenue, guys. You gotta you gotta make up that difference, dude. He even said, he even said in this fucking tweet, let me show you this tweet, because it's, it's, you know, might as well. He says, thank you everyone who made me, who made my Super Mario Odyssey playthrough so incredibly remarkable. Do not miss the final batch of videos, as there is much hilarity to be had in it. And thanks for supporting me through it so I could enjoy this amazing top-notch game. Now uploading. And then he says, uh, does he... Oh, yeah, here here it is. Here's the tweet. Wow. My Super Mario Odyssey playthrough is now complete. Again, thanks to everyone who supported the streams and made this happen despite Nintendo stealing 100% of YouTube ad revenue. It's one of the best Nintendo games ever made. I thought, so he did this out just, just to make money. Just to make money. And now he's here saying, I, I'm doing it because I like the game, okay? I'm not doing this because of money. Neener, 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 fuckers. But, uh, I really need the money, dude. And I love it, and that's why I continued with it. So I don't want to hear... Yeah, that's shit, why. These idiots making shit up. Making saying shit that up. I only played it, you know. Uh, he only plays what makes him money. Get the hell out of here. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Alright, let's move on. To the week in preview. We're not gonna watch the whole thing, that's that's insane. But uh we're gonna skip a little ahead. Get started since we've got so much going on and so much to talk about. First of all, folks, just real quick. I don't care about the internationally, especially this if you order all the way through the first week of December don't real care. quick. Let's get this out of the way. First of all, there's only four days left for you to pledge to my Patreon for the month of November. November, Folks, November, right November. now, as I announced on the last week in preview, we soft hit the funding goal for this month, meaning if everyone who has an ongoing pledge clears, all right, we will be fine. We'll be able to hit the monthly goal, and I'll be doing the Christmas gaming marathon where I'll be dressing up in a silly holiday sweater or two. I'll be drinking during this marathon. We'll be playing holiday-themed games throughout the entire thing that you guys will be nominating and voting on based on your pledges, all right? But all right. We're not in the clear. In fact, this week I noticed a bunch of people either lowered or withdrew their Patreon pledges. I don't know why. Obviously, it's nothing that's in my control. Uh, they have, you know, everyone has it on the fly, has the ability to do that whenever they want. So now, uh, the situation well, I, can't get that the, again. I don't know why. Obviously, it's nothing that's in my control. Uh, they have, you know, everyone has it on the fly, has the ability to do that whenever they want. So he kind of makes it sound as if they shouldn't have that ability to re to withdraw or lower their pledge. With that tone, he didn't say that specifically. I'm not saying that he did. I'm just, I'm just saying that's what it sounds like. I don't know. Now we're Whatever. in a situation where we're really desperate. If anyone's pledges get declined, we're pretty much in trouble. All right. 
Um, so, but like in other in other Patreon goals though, he he has he has a lot of people who got de- who got declined, and he would wait until a few days within the next month for those declined pledges to clear, and then the goal would hit. Now suddenly it's guys, if the pledges get declined, I can't do this. Period. I don't know. If you want to see this holiday gaming marathon happen, you've got to pledge to my Patreon within the next four days. If you pledge, basically you're solidifying and guaranteeing the event happens. I don't need $100, $200 of pledges. I need just a few to basically cover anyone who gets declined. All right? So... If you want to nominate and vote on holiday themed games, you want to support, you want to be able to see this event happen, which I know people do, please pledge. All yeah, right? one person now, pledged two hundred. That means everyone wants coming it. To Patreon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, one more month of the year is remaining. That month, which is next month, December, I'm going to be doing a patron goal, a Patreon goal that I think is going to hit epic levels. All right, reason being, so he's hyping the fuck out of the next goal. And I wanted to say this as well. I want to bring this up because this, this is something that, that I, I think is an idiot for doing this. He's, cur- he, he's currently struggling with this new with this current goal. And he wants to be able to pledge to that goal and all that. But he's been hyping the fuck out of the, the goal in December. So, okay, imagine if, like, Apple, you know, they announced the iPhone X. Like, oh, the iPhone X, it's this great thing. And then... You know, the, it says it's gonna come out in November. It's gonna be great. Everyone's gonna love it. And then November come. And then you know, during the month of November, they're trying to sell this phone. And then during that month, they're like, guys, we got a new phone. Guys, we got a new phone. It's gonna blow your minds. Uh, you know, we're not gonna announce it until December, guys. We're not. We're not gonna announce this new phone until then. But it's gonna be amazing. What do you think is gonna happen to the iPhone X? It's not gonna sell. That that and that. Oddly, kind of what happened with the iPhone 8. They announced the iPhone 8, uh, and people were like, oh, wow, that's, that's great. It's a great phone. And then they announced the iPhone X, and a lot of people were like, well, why get the iPhone 8 when I can just get the X? I mean, some people bought the 8. I mean, the 8 did not do terribly as uh, an Apple product, but it did not sell as much as the iPhone X, because obviously people wanted that phone way more. So... You know, and that, and that's the issue with this. It's like he's hyping this next goal. So why would people want to to donate to this goal when he's saying that the next goal will be better than the one that he currently has? It's so fucking weird to fucking hype the goal already when he's having trouble hitting this goal. It's something that people have wanted to see for years and years. Oh, every every it's goal is that. that. An idea that's been tossed around, and when I brought it up, people were ecstatic about this idea. And I've got a spin on this idea, being that right oh. now I'm in kind of a pickle financial. Guys, I I have a fucking hunch. Get your your Theo. This is this whole video is gonna be you're gonna be wearing this the tinfoil hats. Let's be honest here, guys. It's gonna be Project Seven. It's going to be Project 7. Mark my words. Mark it. Mark them. I'm, I'm writing it down. It's, it's, it's going to be Project 7. What I'm talking about. This last week, I did a Hate Live podcast on Thanksgiving, and I finally revealed to everyone this big looming thing that's been going on behind the scenes. It's not pretty. It's really a big financial issue that could be thousands and thousands of dollars. Hopefully, it's not tens of thousands of dollars. I don't think it will be, but... You know, you never know, knock on wood. So the fact of the matter is I'm in a pickle. I don't want to lose my house. So I have an idea for something I could do with Patreon in the month of December that I think would actually my girlfriend. To pledge I reveal my girlfriend. Who really want to see this idea. Dude, right? what, if, what if, what if it's co-op, it's a, it's co-op, it's a co-op um, gaming marathon. That's, that's goal number one because he said it's going to be a two-tier goal. That's, so that's 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 goal number one. Goal two is my girlfriend reveal. <laughs> that being said, it, outside of the month of Project December, seven. December Tell will be yeah. the last week, the last month, where I do Patreon traditionally the way that I've been doing it this this all along. So all get right. this. Right. So what, do you, what does Phil mean by that exactly? What does okay. Phil mean? I, I don't the know. The way it's worked on Patreon up to now 
is that the the monthly goal, if, whether or not I do this special monthly celebration goal or not, is usually determined on the fact of if I hit a certain level of pledges on Patreon. In 2018, I'm changing this, okay? The reason I'm changing it is because, let's face it, in 2017, my focus shifted from more of a YouTube focus like it used to be, which is very much ingrained with everything I do with Patreon. It shifted over to a live streaming focus on Twitch. So for me, I'm thinking, why am I trying to drive my audience away from live streaming, right? And why instead am I trying to drive them to Patreon when I could just have Patreon keep going and people who like Patreon and like their perks and everything can keep pledging. But what I want to do is I want to try more, try to drive more traffic to my streams. All right. And you may say, all right, well, I but that's, that's really fucking dumb. Uh, you know, Tevin brought this up as well. And I agree with him is that people are going to be giving him basically $10, like $5 more for what to do. You know, to do what they want to do, but I think ultimately, I think the bigger issue with this, more than that, I mean that that, that that's an issue too because it's, you're you're giving you you have to pay a lot of money for him. But I think the bigger issue is that it's gonna fuck over both people, both patrons and Twitch people are not gonna be happy with this because, uh, you know, everyone that subs on Twitch, they might not go to Patreon, they might not want to donate on Patreon because they want to sub on Twitch and they want to do bits. And tips and just that, and they want to sub it because they, you know, like okay, let's sub and let's, you know, whatever, and you know they do a Sonic marathon, whatever, and they have to vote on patrons vote on the Sonic game. So what if the Twitch subs want Sonic two, but the people on Twit on Patreon vote for Sonic three? So those people who subbed for that is probably gonna be like, wow, fuck this, I don't want to fucking, I don't want this and. And why would I sub to this guy? He gives more power to the fucking patrons anyway. Fuck that. And then if they go to Patreon, so uh, because they, they don't want to be a sub, they're going to go to Patreon and they're like, Oh, fuck this. I'm paying $5 to vote. And he's not, and, and, you know, he's not hitting the sub goals. Fuck this. So this really shoots himself in two in both feet. So it, this idea is terrible. It's not going to work. It's, it's, not a good, it's not a good idea. Well, I wonder how filthy, well, what, what's your idea then? How are you going to do this? I'll give you an example. This is just an example. In 2018, terrible. if I have a monthly goal, let's say the goal this month will be... Um, it's a terrible idea. A Sonic the and by the way, it's not Phil's idea. It's Nick's idea. Nick came up with it. Not Phil. Through. If we hit <laughs> the goal this month, it'll be a Sonic the Hedgehog playthrough. All right. How are we going to determine if I hit it? Well, the goal is not going to be on Patreon anymore. All right. The goal is going to be on Twitch. The way it's going to work is going to be based on total subscribers on Twitch. Why? This month, I hit my maximum most concurrent subscribers ever at once. And it's 308. And you know the, the other thing is that I, I I just realized that this is a bad idea. Is that you know subscribers? Obviously, you have to keep paying every month, right? So he hits 350. Let's say let's say that's the sub goal. That's 350. He hits that. Then next month, is he gonna raise it to 650? You're just gonna add 100 to the uh, goal each time, or uh, let's see, 350, uh, seven, seven, seven hundred, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seven hundred. Oh man, I, I'm fucking up. So is, does that mean that the next goal is gonna be 700, 700 or 650 subs? But then like these people are gonna keep having to. Pay the same price, same amount each month. So, I I don't know, I don't know, whatever. And and again, if you can't get over three fifty, if you can't get over four hundred, then because like he says like, oh, I know I have the the potential to get over three hundred. I've been there, but a lot of those were trolls. And at the same time, he has not hit four hundred, even when he was over three hundred. So if he does hit over 300 again, let's say, how is he? How does he know? How is he so sure he's gonna go over 400? Because if he keeps it as 350 forever, then he'll always hit the goal no matter what. Whatever. Eight. Now, sadly, because a lot of the subs were troll subs from a month ago, where I did a special Twitch promotional event, the subs have gone down to about 280 something. But I know I have potential. I can get above 300 because I've been there. Now, but those okay? are trolls. So. 
what I'd like to do in 2018 <laughs> Thank to you, give me the to the streams is base my goal levels off of Twitch sub. But how so, how would making a goal like driving people from Patreon to Twitch make sense? How does that make sense? Because usually the people who go to Patreon come from his Twitch streams. And Kevin had this idea. The better w to have a YouTube video, that like a five second YouTube video, to attract people to go to his Twitch, to his Twitch streams when he's live. That makes sense. That makes sense. Because then he's, tra he's trafficking YouTube audience to go to Twitch, which is much more profitable. Patreon is for like the very hardcore fans. It's for people who really want to go hardcore mode and support you. It's not meant to be like, everyone wants to go to Patreon. It's, it, like, that's usually the kind of people that go to Patreon. Like, right now, uh, you know, if you go to, like, anyone's Patreon, you can see that the people who go there are people who are very invested in the people who have these Patreon, who, who, who are at least interested in what they have to offer. It's not like, I just discovered Phil, go to Patreon.com, give him my money, like, like that's not gonna fucking work. No one's gonna go to Twitch either and be like, wow, what a good 10 minutes I, I spent here in the stream. Sub? No. No one spends money on a sub as much as they... No. No, no, no. So, for example, it's, this, is, this an example. is terrible. Oh, it's, it's... Sonic Month. If I hit 350 concurrent subscriptions... Give him Nick gave him this idea. This month, Nick is a fucking idiot. I'll be doing a Sonic the Hedgehog... Uh, he know, gave him a free idea. Man. That's and terrible for him. It'll be the patrons who pledge $5 or more during this month. You know what? It, it would be so much better if he made it one dollar. A one dollar goal to vote. That would be better. That would be so much better. But no, he can't lower the Patreon rewards because no he can't he can't just fucking do that he needs to milk you for all your money get the fuck out of nominating here nominating and voting on the sonic game that i will be playing as this playthrough see what i mean so the goal Garbage. itself whether i do the goal will be dependent on twitch on something that okay. happens on twitch most notably it's probably going to be subscription ca subscriber count then if you're already a part of patreon or you, you oh man we'll pledge to patreon this month i can do that i can nominate and vote on sonic games then people will pledge to the Patreon. You see what I mean? But now I will Why? have to that every month on Patreon. Why I would they go to Patreon? They just want to sub and give you tips and cheers and shit. Like, this is the other thing that I don't fucking... That, that fucking triggers me so much about him. He kept saying, Oh, give me money on Patreon. It's to support me. You're supporting me, dude. That's the point. But he's doing this out of the guise of, or the idea of, we need to hit the goals, guys. To hit this giant $1,000 uh. goal, some months can get lower if that's fine, if that happens, because I'll be driving people to my Twitch, which is really my main focus right now, okay? <clears throat> Shouldn't you be know, driving some YouTube? Some people have suggested uh, other things as well, and I am, you know, considering in my head some maybe different things that I could do to integrate Patreon with Twitch and vice versa, you know. Why? In fact, I tried to make Why Patreon, to of all things, be integrated to Twitch? YouTube is what should be integrated more. Or just, you should just be using YouTube as just a straight archive channel. Don't do the 10-minute videos. Just upload, like, four-hour playthroughs or just two-hour playthroughs and split them in half. And just... Upload five second clips, uh, just so that people can go to your streams. That's all you have to fucking do. Like, you should not be focusing on Patreon like this. Patreon is fine as it is. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, when people pledged to my Patreon, it had a pop-up on stream, but it doesn't work. I linked the two. I linked Patreon with my Muxy account so that they would link. And there's no interface for it. They ha that You can link them, but it doesn't do anything, which is stupid in my opinion. It should have a link so you can have a pop-up. There's no way to do it right now. Um... So that being said, 2018 is going to be very different, right, in that regard. Um, I'm going to have to start thinking of some really cool goals for you guys to get you guys motivated to start subscribing to the Twitch channel so that we can do these events, okay? Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'll but all you your know, fans are already... When I have like, the that's, that's the thing. All his fans, his hardcore fans, are already subs. 
They are all already subs. All of them. And a lot of these subs that he's been getting were not only just trolls, but they were also gift subs from Brightside Viking. And the thing with that is that I feel that eventually that's going to bite his streams in the ass because I can definitely see in the future the, po the possibility that a viewer or whatever that might be gifted a sub to him might say, hey, can you stop subbing me subbing me to uh, DSP's channel? I don't want a sub to him. Like, yeah, it's a gift, sure, but like, you know, he just may not he might just not want it. I don't know. First big event set up and, and you know planned for twenty eighteen. This is not a good idea. I don't like this regard, idea. It's, it's, it's a really dumb works. idea. Okay, it's not it's not gonna work out so, the way he thinks it's gonna One final thing before I get to the actual schedule. He's gonna struggle. Right now, He's gonna struggle more with getting patrons than he is with getting Twitch subs, which is fucking dumb to divide something like that so drastically. If he's gonna do this, he should just make the uh, Patreon voting one dollar. He needs he needs to lower his rewards. I I I I said this so many times. It's the biggest issue with his Patreon right now. He needs to lower his rewards. He needs to. $50 for a private Q&A is way too much for that. That should be $20. The question should be at, should be at most 10 or 5. Uh, whatever is 10 should be $5. 5 should be $1. There you go. I am in the financial pickle that I'm in. And I definitely Yeah, okay, to financial out of pickle. This house, which it seems a lot of people, let me tell you, are very very interested in keeping me here and he made my he made 3k in a weekend and he felt the need to use his girlfriend to get more people to give him more fucking money after saying this he said this before he announced his girlfriend he's like well a lot of people have been giving me a lot of money it seems they want me to keep this house and then monday guys it seems that it's a good idea to talk about my girlfriend so you guys can give me more money to keep this house when he just said that people want him to keep this house and his fans, his slaves, already want to because they are conditioned to think that if he has to leave that house, the detractors fucking win. That's what they think. Because they're that fucking dumb. I know I'm yelling about this, but it, it, it's it's just sleazy as fuck to say this and, and, and make 3k to weekend and say the next day, I'm gonna announce my girlfriend so you guys can give me more fucking money. Get the fuck out of here. Daily thing and not have my life thrown apart by some bullshit that I had nothing to do with and could not control whatsoever. People have come out overwhelmingly over the past. It's been ginormous dent, a small dent, but still a Back taxes that weren't February 31st. I'm currently in the process of working to pay these back taxes. I haven't paid for several years. I don't have. I just don't. Is next month, by the actually it's by January 15th, but I usually pay it by the end of December. I'm going to have no money, okay? So what you guys have been contributing is already... I'm going to have federal taxes next month. By the Actually, it's by January 15th, but I usually pay it by the end of December. I'm going to have no money, okay? So, so okay, so remember, he said this, that he pays his taxes by January. And he wants to do an event in January where he'll get the money in February to pay these taxes. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. Uh, the other thing, the other thing is that, and Tevin brought this up, is that he alluded to having a payment plan installed so that he could pay this, pay these uh, taxes over the over the course of time. But whatever, I mean, he could lose the house. So, what you guys have been contributing is already going to help with this coming up. What I'm thinking of doing <clears throat> is a special event in January. Maybe a marathon stream, maybe a series of streams, I'm not sure. That's basically going to be a fundraiser. It's going to be like the Keep Phil in His House fundraiser, or whatever. we'll think of a name of it. Keep Phil in His House fundraiser. What a, what a great foundation. But remember, he cannot do charity streams for actual charities. It has to be about him. If he can't make money off it, he's not going to fucking do it, which is fucking... Ugh. We're two, three days in January. What I'll do is I will... <clears throat> play a game that people really want to see me play and it's going to basically be a drive i'll have like a goal set so that as people contribute 
uh, the goal will go up and up. There's actually a, uh, an ability on Muxy. They call it a tip cup, but this is different. We'll call it something different. And I'll have like a goal level as people pledge. I'll go bup, 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 so that maybe I can raise the money bup, bup, and pay bup, all bup, this bup. shit and not worry about losing my goddamn house. All right? Goddamn honest, house. Point, I, I'm at my wit's end. There's nothing else I can do. I can't even think of anything else to do that could possibly get me out of the situation because I, I'm at the end of, of everything that I could possibly do. Even if I were to go try selling shit out of my house, there wouldn't be enough time like to sell. Why can't he do a job and do this at the same time? He has Patreon, which is open 24-7. You can donate anytime there. You can sub to his channel anytime regardless. He, he could do this. But remember, but he needs to, he needs to make time for his girlfriend, of course. That makes more sense. Sell all the shit in time for when apparently all this money is going to be due. So that may be coming up probably late December, early January. I think probably more towards early January, being that that big lump sum payment is going to be due at the end of January. Um, that maybe I can raise that money and pay it and not have to worry about it, and then we'll see what happens going from there. Honestly, another thing I'm really worried about is the legal fees from this tax attorney, because he's probably going to charge me a ridiculous amount of money. I think he alone is going to charge me thousands of dollars to get this thing settled. So, it is what it is, folks. Um, all right. Enough about all of that. All right. Enough of that, indeed. I was going to go through his forums, but, uh, I don't want to. This video is long as it is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say that's it. That's a wrap for this for this video. Doing great making this video, I guess. I really hope nothing happens because I kind of don't want to just do these videos back to back to back to back. <laughs> All right, everyone, that's it for this video. See you in the next one.